Good morning, everyone. So today I have a video for you sponsored by Tonic uh, Studios. I did send these items free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're to purchase items using those links. So thank you. Um, today's is the designer's choice called uh, Corsage Incarnations. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at the amount of dyes on there. <laughs> um, Normally I don't sit here and just count them up, but I mean, even right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just in this little spot right here. So as you can see, it's all circular, um, floral. I mean, we have the regular die, you know, just to cut the circles, or if you want to put in these inlays, this inlay, this set right here, there's two different ones. So this one's more like leaves and this one has more like a flowers in it. So if you want to, um, you know, do the flowers all around or the leaves, you just switch it out. It has this really cool edge, which you can make a thin little frame if you use this edge one with this center one, or just, you know, use that edge one with this next guy and have an inlay or, you know, layer up the layers because each one of these would cut, right? You have three layers, one, two, three, and on top of that last one, the fourth layer. You have these corner pieces. I also have the inserts that you can mix and match. They have the pieces that cut the edge or the corners themselves. This one has stitching. This one's plain. Um, these beautiful floral... Um, corners that just kind of decorate those uh, corners for you. Well, this one has the leaves and this one has like the flowers. Again, leaves and flowers. Um, the center here, it's a mixed mash of that. Look at this like little blocks this one would do. Oh my gosh. And, and just looking at, you know, just using some beautiful colored papers, you're gonna make a card really fast. I mean, that's what I'm looking at when I'm looking at this one thing, and this is gonna be really quick. <laughs> so let's see. Um, this one, we also have, again, the medallion that's center. This one's the leaves. This one's more floral, but this one has uh, more floral, but it makes up both of those kind of images. Another circle here that has a little dotting that'll cut the whole circle for you. This one is like a cute little um, triangle pattern. Again, it's the same size as these things. So where this one's gonna cut you a regular circle that doesn't have any, um, decorative and anything there. Uh, this one has a little dotting, right? This little guy can be switched out for that guy. This guy has like this really cute kind of triangular, kind of rounded shape that again would fit in the same spot. Um, and this one has the stitching, that circle. And then this one again is like the floral insert. I'm just... This is just gorgeous. Beautiful designer's choice. Um, so with the designer's choice, it's not a monthly kit. It's just this is it. You pick it up. Um, I believe it's still $19.99. I haven't seen that that's changed. And then it has reduced shipping. So uh, if you're only picking this up, if you're adding other things, then I believe the shipping goes to uh, normal. But uh, for the designer's choice by itself, it's a reduced shipping. I believe it's $2. So I'm going to grab some papers and we will get started. Hey guys, so I think I have made some choices. I want to use this little corner piece. I'm going to cut four out of this um, gold dust paper. Okay, well... I don't know if I'm going to use all four, but I'm going to cut four anyway to begin with. Um, so I'll do that with that one. And then um, I'm just thinking about how I want to layer and do some fun things. So I think this very center one I'm going to cut out of oopsie, this um, electric purple mirror card. So I will just layer them together. Sorry about the glare. Of course, tape it down, run it through. I'll cut just this one, just a circle of this gold. Um, I think this one is called, actually I have to look, Harvest Gold, yeah. I like Harvest Gold, it's a little bit deeper gold. So I'll cut just that out from Harvest Gold. So those are gonna layer on top of each other. And then I have um, this beautiful soft amethyst mirror card. I'm gonna cut just with this circle but we're also going to inlay it with this, but I can't quite do that yet until I eyeball this other piece that's going to layer into it. You know, if I lay it down now, maybe it's going to be a little bit crooked or a little bit off. So we're going to do it like this. So this is going to cover the whole back area, but this little piece will be uh, cut out of that soft amethyst. And then for the very last <laughs> layer behind it, I'm going to do this again from electric purple. Okay. So I'll cut those out. Sorry about all the glare. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I do want to mention the largest die is just about five inches, this one here. So to give you some idea of that. Um, so with this guy, again, I'm going to cut it from this amethyst paper here. I'm going to put a little bit of tape just to hold that down now. And then this guy. Now you can come in and layer in like the other dies just so that you know exactly where you're at. But I just kind of want to have an idea. 
Again, I'm pretty much eyeballing this at this point. But like I said, if you want to bring in some of the other dies that help you kind of fill it in and then choose where to put this. I just want to see exactly. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. And it just popped out. Look at. I know there's a lot of reflection, so that's going to be in the middle there. I just want to make sure I have this just about where I want it to be. That's pretty good. But again, you can just place pretty much all the dies back in just so you know exactly the spacing there, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it at this point. And I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put the tape towards the inside just in case the tape sticks or does something funky to my paper. I don't want it on the part that's still going to be visible. So just in case. Let's put that there. And I'm going to put one more little piece of tape on this outer die. I don't want this to move at all because then it's going to be off-centered. So right there. Okay. And I'm going to run this through and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we have these two. I'm going to glue these together again. And wherever it's delicate, I can just put glue in the back of my hand and pat, pat, pat. Put that on there. It looks like a piece of enameling. So pretty. And then we have this little guy. Maybe I should have taken the moment to remove this just to make it easier. Um, make it... This is just going to be a little bit of an inlay. Oh my gosh, so pretty and so delicate. Look at that. Look at how delicate that is. And then again, there's another die that cuts this circle, but what I wanted was to be something like this. And then of course I'm going to put this on top. And I'm not sure if I'm going to pop up or how I'm going to do that part yet, uh, just to make different layers. You can keep them flat too. And then I had these pretty ladies. That's why I cut four, but I wasn't sure if I was going to use four or just two. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So what I'm going to do, again, is stick these two together. Um, and then I'm going to get a, a card base going and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this card base from Honey Gold Roses Paper. So pretty. And I cut it at five and a quarter inches by ten and a half. And then I scored it at five and a quarter. So it's a five and a quarter inch square card. And I think it's just going to accent that. Oh my gosh. Looks very regal. Okay, I'm going to glue this one down completely. I'm not sure how I want to glue the second layer. I think I want to just glue the center and let it be kind of free-flowing around the edge because I like the way it looks like a little plate. Kind of interesting. So let me put that there. But if I'm going to do that, I kind of want to know... I guess I can put this on here now. I kind of want to know where this is going to be so that I can kind of... better know where I'm going to put these other pieces. So I put dimensional adhesives on the back of this. Sorry if I didn't show that. On the back there's just some dimensional. And this is going to go on here. And then these little pretties are going to go, you know, wherever it is that I want to put them. Again, I cut four. I don't know that I'm going to use all four. Let me just clear these guys out. And also, does this something I want to stick down completely or do I want to let it free float? I probably will stick it down completely. I think it looks good with just two, but let's see. Of course, I know sometimes we think more is more, more is better. You know, there's always different <laughs> rules for that. I don't know. I kind of like just the two. Let's do that. I'm going to glue these two down flat on here. So I'm actually going to put some glue in the back of my hand. They are very delicate pieces. And get it right on there. And since it's a circle, it doesn't really matter, but I do want to put it like here. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And like I said, I kind of just want to put glue on this area. So even as I was making this, I was thinking, do I really want to put it? Uh, sentiment on this. It's so pretty. It looks like just something you just look at it and it's gorgeous. Uh, let me see if I have something that would work with it. Um, but otherwise, I think I'm done. I'll be right back. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to take these extra ones and that's all I'm going to do. So I think if you have a nice die cut, like a word that's very much the same style or however, you know, however you designed it, I made it very fancy, but I think you could probably change that up, make it a little more kind of earthy because of the floral design and all that. Um, yeah, and you can just put it right on here, but I kind of like the way it is. I like that this is lifted up. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you so much, Tonic, for sponsoring the video, for sending these items uh, for review. I'll have the links for you guys. 
Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. I think um, it reminds me a lot of the luxurious lace that people really just love because you can just do so much with what's in here. Uh, really, really great. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Look at that fanciness. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.